Caddis Maximus here. This time with a review of the Performance Tool PT USB voltage detector or voltage meter. This is a shameful product, I should say. The product itself works okay, although the voltage reads high and the amperage reads a bit low. Why? Because I actually, when I got this charger here, I have to plug it back in to get it to display its voltage. There we go. Uh, I actually butchered a USB cable and ran it through my Fluke multimeter to really see, and this charger is actually pretty accurate. This thing is a bit inaccurate, but it's within its advertised 1% tolerance. Although you wouldn't find those advertisements or any specifications on the back of the unit or anywhere on the packaging itself, which is kind of important because it actually helped them if they had designed better packaging to say that this thing is quick charge compatible. After you dig around on PT's website, they do mention that it's 20 volt, 5 amps, so the maximum 100 watt quick charge uh, delivery. So I thought that was pretty interesting, but it only has full size USB A. So this is sold at auto parts stores. O'Reilly's has it for 10 bucks. It's outrageous because this is $3.50 on Amazon. Um, I actually found this at a local discount auto parts store that also gets PT stuff, but they were selling it for seven and I went, f went for it. These are sold to most cars in the last decade or so have had USB port charging ports. And so this is just to help diagnose, you know, if, do I have a bad cable? Is a port putting out voltage? When I plug something in, is it actually delivering the energy? And I can do that here just to show that at least it will show the 12 volts. It does have pretty strong uh, USB ports, but it's a really weak tinted acrylic plastic, which kind of makes the coloring a bit dark. If I plug something that's a bit uh, higher power here, we can see it will go up to uh, 12 volts. If we compare it to what I know is a, a little bit more accurate, we can see it building up here. It's just that the voltage ends up reading, once again, just a bit high. And the amperage, this is actually pretty darn accurate. And so the amperage reads a little bit low, but it's still just fine for its intended purpose, which is for really troubleshooting automotive um, USB ports. And it isn't that this is so cheap. One of the other kind of cheap things, I mean, all PT did here was go to an Alibaba <laughs> manufacturer and around the 500 unit mark, you can get custom screen printing. And around the 1,000 unit mark, uh, you can get custom packaging. And that's what they did. They didn't do a very good job at that. And then they just used all the retailers they have in the United States to push out these kind of oddball products. It works better when it's mechanical hand tools. These are actually machine metal parts. But when it comes to electronic items, uh, the prices are extremely competitive. And uh, it's really easy for people to discover, you know, the true nature of one of these things, especially when you go on Amazon, you just say, wait a minute, that product looks the same and it's $3.50 delivered. And O'Reilly's is trying to get 10 bucks out of this. Come on now. What they should do is, is there's a huge variety of these testers. Some of them are awesome for like, you know, $15, $20 on Amazon. They have like, you know, color dot matrix that computer screens with all this, these crazy readouts. And they ought to sell one of those rather than just getting the cheapest one that they can find. And that they use trendy blue for the voltage instead of green, which would be the standard in this situation. Red for amps and uh, green for voltage. Let's go ahead and pop this thin acrylic case off. It's tinted, so it kind of makes it a little bit dark. And the boot, this is being sold as kind of an automotive technician tool, something to diagnose a car. And it just is an acrylic case with four little snaps on each of the corners. So it just isn't really very durable. What I found is I just work one corner up like so and pop it open. And then one of the easiest things to open, a lot of the plastic stuff that has plastic tabs, are very easy to break if you just try to pull it open. But guitar picks are really great for just trying to get right under those edges and it allows you to pop those little clasps as you can see they're just tiny and super easy to break and just getting something into that seam to kind of actually push it back is the little trick to getting these type of plastic cases apart without destroying them and guitar picks you can just get all sorts of uh different hardnesses and even some different thicknesses and their this their shape and everything is absolutely perfect now if we plug this back in without a cover on it, even with the bright lights, 
we can see that it's quite a bit brighter, although it is a little bit harder to see just because of the way the background lighting is lighting up some of the other segments of this LED display, so I kind of see why they do tint it. And I forgot to hit record, but opening this up, it was funny because they still had the protective plastic film was over the top of the LED units themselves. And I thought that was a little bit hilarious. And there would be the actual part number for whatever the, the circuit board is. There we go. Pop that board out. Uh, really pretty simple. There's just a simple chip. There's a big resistor here. I assume that's the current shunt. Uh, for how it measures current, it just measures the voltage drop across that resistor and then the direct voltage measurement. They are doing the weird kind of Chinese thing, which is really indicative of Alibaba, where it has sanded, unmarked chips, recycled chips that are tested, and then they just sand the markings off and just internally know what it is. I always thought that's a really cheesy thing to do is demark the chips. So it's kind of shame on PT Tools for getting such a... Uh, cheesy little device, not especially when you're trying to charge so much money for the thing. I should say I do like how it looks when it's a little bit darker. Then it's really bright and super easy to see. Anyway, that's the end of my review of this weird little device. And I think that uh, if you want one, get the $3.50 one off of Amazon. But if you're going to do that, spend 5 or 10 bucks and get one of the really advanced ones. Just don't... You know, get these weird shelf items that you think my car USB charger isn't working. I'm going to buy this thing for 10 bucks. Just, uh, no. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching and subscribing and commenting. If you haven't subscribed, please do consider supporting the Caddis Maximus channel. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.